Namaste. Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about the story of my life today. A story that started with some simple act actions, led to some unexpected reactions, and ended up causing positive impacts to my life and a lot of other people. I grew up in India. My mother was a very talented and enthusiastic Garba dancer. Garba is a folk, da a folk dance from a Western Indian state of Gujarat. I learned from her at a very early age. Then I went on to learn many folk, semi-classical, and classical Kuchipudi dance form from many accomplished gurus. Afterwards, I didn't do much with my dance. Fast forward a decade, I had married. I came to US. I finished my grad school with a degree in e-learning and instructional design. I was working for a great nonprofit for a couple of years, and, was, I, and I was expecting my first son, Abhinav. Like all working mothers do, I was trying to figure out how to balance my growing family and my career. I always wanted to spend more time with him. So when I held him first time in my arms, I had my answer. My husband was immediately supportive. We ran few numbers to figure out how we will make things work in less. And I started enjoying my motherhood. Then something happened that changed my life immensely. I was talking to an old friend, and she had a daughter who was learning Indian classical dance for last six years. She was on verge of doing her Arangetram, which is kind of a graduation ceremony. My friend knew that she was not into it, and she was certain that her daughter would not continue or do anything with it. Many Indian, first-generation Indian parents think that teaching Indian classical dance form is the best way to pass the cultural heritage. But after talking to many parents with similar views like my friend, I knew that the kids sometimes do it out of respect to their parents and are not connected. I always wondered if they are investing so much of time, they should feel connected and also have fun. Over the sleepless nights, tending to my son, my dancer heart, and my instructional designer head came together and gave me some great ideas. I brainstormed with my husband, and we decided to start a dance class with a simple motto, culture is sacred, but preserving it should be fun. A little later, I rented a dance studio with two students I started a fun and con very constructive curriculum. Those two quickly became 10, and then 50. And then in past weekend, we had 423 students who performed at our recital. Thank you. I was fortunate. I still don't know how a lot of seemingly random things, like my dancing childhood, quitting my job, like unconnected, uh, my unconnected education of instructional design and talking a, to a random friend led me to a life where I got a chance to impact over 1,000 families in the past few years. Serenity is alive, well, I guess. As part of my work, I get to uh, come, I come across many instances of impact of dance on individuals. A couple of years back, we started an internship program to promote leadership skills. We have 10 interns who participate in that program. One of the intern moms came to me and told me that her daughter was so excited to get her first paycheck. And she started researching how to save and invest. She also set up her brokerage account, and she got hooked on to stock and investment and she wants to pursue the, that as her career. A small, impact made a, a small act made a big impact on her life. A small impact is magnified when it reaches to more people. I have my three students who went to different colleges in different parts of the country. They joined their dance teams, they became the captains of the dance teams, or they started their own dance teams. These dance teams are teeming with youth energy, 
and help spread the unique cultural awareness, not only of Indian subcontinent, but a full multicultural campus body. Now, I had no idea of this college year dance teams until I hired our first instructor. She is an amazing dancer. She has never been to India. She learned all her dancing in US in her dance college team. But she dances with much more grace and charm than a native dancer. And now is passing the cultural uh, creativity and uniqueness to the next generation. Isn't that amazing? In this global world, a small act is far reaching. Every year, we order 600 costumes for our various shows from different parts of India. My vendor tells me that at the peak of our ordering season, he employs 30 to 40 local artisans, majority of them women, who work on hand embroidery and hand stitching. Talking about unexpected impacts, in last few months, two moms, parent moms, I should say, came to me and told me they quit their corporate jobs to start their own small business. And, they, and in their own words, they took inspiration from my experiences. One is having a thriving art class, and other a boutique. When I look back, I think I was at the right place, at the right time, took some risks, worked hard with a simple vision to spread culture in a fun and enduring way. Yeah. One last parting story is there are impacts, but there are some impacts that are so emotional and powerful that changes your life forever. Last week at the dance recital, one of the lady from our adult dance group came to me and she asked, what is the exact performance time of, of her performance? Typically, I don't share the performance time. So I asked if it was something important. She said yes. She was undergoing a surgery for carcinoma, and she wanted to push back her check-in to the hospital so she can really perform at the show. Dance was therapeutic to her. I have been dancing all my life but I don't think I have the courage to push back an important surgery for a dance performance. But she did, and that to me is power of dance, the impact of dance, that once it connects to your heart and soul, it can do wonders. Thank you. மல்லிகையில் ஒரு மாலை தங்க சருகையில் ஒரு சேலை மல்லிகையில் ஒரு மாலை தங்க சருகையில் ஒரு சேலை பூ ஒன்றை பூட்டி வைக்கத்தான் கல்யாணம் கண்டு பிடித்தான் தொடக்கம் மாங்கல்யம் தந்து நானேனா பின்பு ஜீவிதம் துந்தனானேனா
Baby, go please, please. 